Hello, I discovered that many of my subscribers do not know when a new video from me is out. And it is very simple to get a notification every time when a new video from me is out. And this is the way how you do it. So if this, for example, is my YouTube homepage, so Vintage Stereo, the only thing you have to do is to click on this bell. And this is the notification bell. And as soon as I upload a new video in the future, you will get automatically a notification that my new video is online. So you will never, never miss a video from me again. Hello guys, today I'm going to show you some new stuff I bought. And uh, one of these things is the headphone I have here. And that is, that is this thing. Let me show you. That's the Fresh and Rebel. This is the brand, let me show you in the mirror what it is it's the clam fresh and rebel headphone you can see it, you can fold it up this is the front side it's a bluetooth device and uh, I have it now for a few months, I think uh, three months, four, four, three, four months I have it now and I like the thing, a really nice sound my friends I, uh, I, I bought it because I and one of my friends bought the same thing with, with uh, the more expensive one this one cost at the moment I paid 100 euro for it but when I uh, uh, looked it up uh, a few days ago it was dropped in price and the price now is 80 euro and the one with A and C, so active noise cancellation, uh, cost still 130 euro. That one was the one I heard with, with a friend of mine. And I thought, oh, this is a good sounding thing. And then I discovered they have, e because I don't need noise cancellation in my house. So I bought the one from 100 euro. And from that moment on, I use this thing only when the battery is gone or finished. I still use that Sennheiser Sennheiser HD 25132, the 600 ohm uh, headphone, and I think that's a studio headphone. Not sure, but I don't. I, don't, and I, I got that that thing for free, although it had a value from 160 euro in the shop. I got the thing for free, and uh, when I bought that uh, Luxman pre and main amplifier. A while ago and between that time I also bought that Sennheiser HDR165 yeah, I made a scoring video from that but I never I promise you but I never made a review from neither the Sennheiser HDR165 neither the Sennheiser HD2513 with the 600 ohm uh, headphone and this one, because I, 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 have, I have to be honest with you guys, I'm not that much in for headphones. I use headphones to watch my videos, uh, to uh, edit my videos, to watch watch films uh, series online, because the, the speakers from my uh, laptop are not so great. So, so I use this thing and this thing. I, one of the reasons I bought it is because it has a battery life from 35 hours. 35 hours, my friends. Where the uh, the Sennheiser, that's not a Bluetooth, that's a another another sort of control radio control thing. Uh, that thing only only have uh, 16 hours battery uh, life. So, but. I'm not sure, I didn't check the thing out for 35, but it looks like it is empty much faster than that 35 hours, I think 20 hours, 20, but not sure, never calculated, but in my feeling it doesn't reach the 35 hours because often the thing is empty, and how can a thing from 35 hours get empty, you know, anyway, the second thing I bought, and I will, I will, because... <laughs> I, I never listen music on my headphones, you know, you have those guys who, who love to listen music on headphones. I always prefer my speakers for that. And uh, Okay, I'm sorting out music from my 
on my laptop sorting out music making playlists you know put it on my phone and then i use this thing but not for real listening you understand okay i will try to make i will try and not, not not promising i will try to make uh, videos and to see the difference with, with these three headphones i have now the two sennheiser and this fresh and rebel clam i'll try to make reviews and for the same reason uh, the, the the tube amplifier I have from the Chinese shop. Uh, I later discovered it have a headphone connection and it is a very good headphone out according to the guy from the Chinese shop. But I will do not do that review. That will be on, on, not honest. The amp will go to uh, to Ivers house and that guy is a fanaticus with headphones with headphone amplifiers things like that. So I left I leave that part to review to him you know so you know you can have a a better opinion from some somebody who is always working with headphones who is you know used to good headphone amplifiers i am not the one to make a rev to review that headphone out from that tube ampli amplifier that wilson r8 okay so headphones are coming i hope i hope i am strong enough to do that you know okay the next thing i bought is this kio razor razor kio this is a uh, uh well indirectly it 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 it, it has something to do with my channel because i bought this thing this is a cam and with the lightning it is lighted as you can see the white thing what you see is the light from the from the uh around the the camera so i'm never sitting in the dark anymore and that's because i have a lousy a lousy camera in my laptop and this thing is okay but i still not sure how to implant that in my uh, in my in my videos it, it is it is giving a better result but um, although i pay 100 euro for it and I, I, i'm thinking to resell it Maybe for, I'm not sure what you can have for the thing. I have it a few months in my house and I'm not very really satisfied with the uh, Razer Kio. I'm not very really satisfied with it. But yeah, I want to give you the best quality possible. You know, those poker videos where you see me talking in front of my uh, laptop. Maybe I have to use this cam. You know, I can use this cam for that purpose. So, okay but there's more more work when i have to set up this thing than you know a cam like this okay the next thing i bought <laughs> here you see <laughs> let me push on the light <laughs> my friends here what's this <laughs> what's this what's these things what what's these things and they are almost mint they're only a little thing on the side these things came on wheels, original wheels, as you can see on the side. These things come unbelievable, beautiful. And really, uh, I uh, the first time I heard this thing was in Serbia. I was in Serbia because my ex-wife was a Serbian woman. And um, my favorite place was Portugal. We had a house over there and that little village from 10,000 persons, in that period it had only 10,000 people, I think it's bigger now, uh, had so many uh, cafes, restaurants, so a fun place it was to be. And that's because these people, Serbian people, well, you know, it was middle in the, uh, in the boycott period. They had a boycott, a worldwide boycott in the war time, you know, the, when they had war with, uh, with the, the, the surrounding countries. And uh, that war, uh, so in 1994, you know, even though it was a war, everybody went out, everybody had fun, you know. And uh, that, but at the first time I heard these speakers, they were already old, second hand when I heard these speakers for the first time and uh, I was curious my friend I was curious but I didn't I, I remember that I didn't like the sound they were too dull sounding like the tweeters were not working okay not sure 
what it was maybe they are just they they were 100% working but they are just not good sounding speakers not sure I don't expect this speaker sounds good but they are looking so beautiful my friends beautiful speakers only I'm not sure yeah, I never did that reconing job you can see the, the woofers the woofers need a new foam and I'm not sure I'm going to do that job so I'm not sure if I'm going to review this thing still thinking or that I have to try it out try it out how how is that reforming and then I have some fantastic looking speakers okay they will be, probably they will not sound fantastic but yeah the looks my friend the looks okay what we have next well in this bag in this bag <laughs> beautiful Yamo J203 in this bag I have a Sony an AA Bose 321 set or 312 not sure complete set complete set my friends the woofer is over here the woofer the black one the gray one over here you can see and I got this thing for free because one of the friends of my daughter she wanted to get rid of it and she told him if your father wants he can have it so my daughter brought this thing for me I have to uh, to test it out I have to I have it now for two three weeks in my house I have to test it out as you can see here at the glass place still I still have to make that new audio cabinet for with that, that with that clips big 15 inch woofer yeah and then I scored this set my friends this set <laughs> yeah yeah these are the let me switch the thing around these are the Heiko Music Colors 200 They are 1 meter I think 1 meter and 3 high Yes, 1 meter and 3 high 15 centimeters wide And they have a subwoofer Or a woofer on the side from 20 centimeters or 8 inch And they weigh 16.5 kilo The building quality is fantastic my friends, fantastic Listen to this Everywhere. Only here, some little bit more hollow, and this is this is the connection, you know. This is the connection on the back, and I bought these things very cheap, very cheap, my friends. I am afraid to tell you how much I paid for them, because 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 I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you because it's damaged. But yeah, this is an easy piece of cake, you know, to repair. Because the color white, it's the most simple color to repair. If you have black or white speakers, they are easy to repair, my friends. If you have wooden speakers, it's very hard to repair. Because if 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 something like like this damage, you have always a pattern. It's not egal, egal the color. So it will, you, you will always see the damage back easy. You know, if 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 a corner from this thing is gone it will be you will you will always see it back but this well i bought the complete set i bought these speakers the two satellites the the heiko music color 100s and the center speakers center speaker only no subwoofer but i bought these speakers not for myself i was hunting for slimline speakers because my sister my sister who often films me when i uh, go scoring well see uh, she want only slimline speakers and she have now those Mission 731, those bookshelf speakers and I think those speakers sound pretty good, pretty good, good sounding speakers my friends and those speakers are cheap in the Netherlands, you can find those speakers for about 40 euro those Mission 731s, but okay, they are old fashioned looking and these speakers I think, I'm not sure because I thought those monitor audio radius 270, those very slim speakers, I didn't, I, I had just a few weeks ago, just, I, I made it just a few weeks ago, I make a video from those speakers, I also bought a complete set, I brought those speakers at her house, but uh, she think they were too expensive, and they were expensive, so she, she skipped those speakers, and to be honest, I was not impressed by the sound and 
because I miss some bass and I say okay this is not just a little difference with your monitor audio uh, or with your Mission 731 it's not worth to invest this big big amount just have the patient be patient I will find some good speakers and so I scored these speakers especially for her not for myself but I was lucky to have a good price because because these these people think well uh, the thing is damaged so we can't ask too much for damaged speakers but yeah this is nothing on my friends nothing beautiful beautiful what's this beautiful 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 speakers my friends and I think these speakers can sound much better than those monitor audios because of that woofer on the side and that's a, that's a 20 centimeter woofer my friends so and these speakers start with I think yes 30 hertz 30 hertz yes and uh, well and then well this is what I what I have new in my house you know what I what I bought recently I I am I am a buyer I'm a hook my friends I bought I don't know and headphones I buy new I and I I bought that that Sennheiser HD 165 second hand but uh, this this yeah it was 100 euros so I bought it new this thing was 100 euro I bought it new so sometimes I buy new but for speakers I always say to you my friends I'm gonna make that video you know uh, the perfect the perfect uh, uh, the perfect the perfect combination for under one 1000 euro and nothing in that in that combination will be new new from the shop my friends because the biggest mistake is to buy new in the shops because it well it depends it depends what you know what you're going to buy you know I, I buy these things you know and I think okay you know uh, how much uh, can I find it second hand what is the price difference it is 100 euro new in the shop so anyway if it was maybe 200 euro in the shop then maybe I would try to find the second one second hand one you know for, for half the price but yeah you know no, I'm not waiting for 50 euro profit so anyway these speakers I, did, I didn't test them out I didn't I have oh, downstairs I have the, the bag with the two satellites and the uh, and the uh, uh, center speaker tomorrow tomorrow or not no not tomorrow later I'm going on my route to score um, uh, Elux 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 BS 244 I'm not sure if you know that those are bookshelf speakers Elux BS 244 hook them up watch them up and I will score those speakers tomorrow with the original uh, stands from Elac, so complete set and also in white so I showed my sister that those pictures and she told me no because you know they are also more expensive speakers you know more expensive than this set well this set normally these speakers these <laughs> these these yeah I, 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 I'm, uh, I'm ashamed to tell you what I paid for these speakers well I paid 100 euro for only the floor standards and I paid 50 euro for the satellites and the uh, and the center so 100 euro I paid for these speakers my friends 100 euro in the Netherlands in the Netherlands I think normal normal value from these speakers is about 200 250 euro in the Netherlands yes only because of that little damage I got it for 100 euro cheaper and I can repair it. I will repair it for her. So uh, if if I come in her house, she will see nothing from the damage. And uh, and I, I hope I hope I hope I already showed her the pictures. You know, she loved it. She loved the looks. They are beautiful speakers. Of course, I don't expect the same sound as my Heiko the statements, but you know, I think for one hundred euro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean those monitor audio speakers. I sold also too cheap. I sold way too cheap, but they were more, much more expensive than these speakers. So, I think for 100 euro, my friends. And uh, <laughs> and over here you have these Yamos J203, and uh, or even I'm ashamed to tell you what I 
paid for this because because sometimes I'm 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 unlucky. I I lose a lot of money, but I was lucky lately. I only paid 40 euro for the complete Yamo set, my friends, for the complete Yamo set. But yeah, the reason is because well, even if they are how they are now, they are worth I think 150, 200 euros even in the condition they are at the moment. So, but I was lucky. I was lucky. I can be lucky sometimes. Okay. I'm not sure what to do with the speakers, repair it or resell them, you know, not sure if how much I can have if I resell them like this or do I have to reform them knowing that they will not have the sound I like, but yeah, these speakers are more for the looks, you know, and no, I'm not sure what to do with them, if, if I'm going to reform them, I will keep them, you know, I will not resell them anymore. But what do you want with speakers? What do, do I don't think they sound okay. I don't think they sound good. Don't think they are good sounding speakers. So that's the, the dilemma I have now with these speakers. You know, reform it costs about 20, 20, uh, 45 to 50 euro because I need to buy the glue, the the well, the, the things you need to to reform. I don't have the the nothing here. Not not no glue, nothing. You know. But Mater no, no materials. Anyway, guys, this is what you can expect, you know, so... Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I almost forget, uh, let me... This is what I also scored, well, not scored. I have this thing for free. <laughs> I had this thing for free because the guy who bought the Acuface E206 for me, he was so happy, he told me, well, I have this... Uh, this power amp and one channel is making a noise so this thing needs a revision or a small reparation and I hope I hope Simon can do that that's the Dusan the Dusan I'm not sure if you can see it over here the Dusan uh, yeah over here the Dusan PA100, strange looking amplifier. Let me show you the, the front side. This is the front side. Two times 150 watt. It is, I think, an integrated. I'm not sure. I didn't hook it up. The thing is broken. So I wait till Simon comes to my house. But the thing looks mint, pretty mint. Very nice. Not sure what the value from this thing is. But yeah, I have it for free, my friends. I got it for free from that guy who bought me my, my Acuface E206 and uh, he told me if I know some repair guys so I told him yes John Direct he's the best but uh, not sure why he did not want to repair this thing I think he told me he, he is so happy with this thing uh, because he, he promised me this thing when he bought this amplifier from me he was so happy for that price he bought it that he uh, he told me he will uh, he have this this Dusan amplifier. I thought okay, you can have it for free. I think okay, nice. But you know, people promise things, and often, you know, nothing. Will <laughs> afterwards, they, they they you you see they promise for nothing. And but after three months, I think I sold that thing three months ago, two and a half, three months ago. He apped me and he told me, are you home uh, Friday because I'm in your neighborhood and I will bring the amplifier. So he brought this thing and <laughs> so this is this is what you can expect from now. Well, I cannot review the Dusan, the PA, <laughs> I cannot review this thing because this thing have a, uh, well, bad channel. But I will review these speakers, these beautiful. And these are not expensive speakers. If you can find them second hand, they are not expensive. So, uh, because they are new, I'm not sure what the price was, the new price also. But anyway, I, 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 this, these, these are promising speakers, my friends. So, beautiful, beautiful slimline speakers, you know. And uh, <laughs> that, 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 that sub what you see over there, Bose 3321, you know. Well, I'm not a Bose man, but you know, I have it for free, so why not test it out for sound? I'm curious. And these beautiful Yamo G203. So, much stuff you can expect. Much more stuff in my room. I still didn't review it yet, you know. But, uh, and later I'm going to pick up those, uh, well, those Elac 
ELAC BS244 bookshelf speakers with uh, matching uh, also in white color you know beautiful beautiful speakers and uh, well, those ones are expensive speakers but yeah I'm curious I'm curious to the sound and well this was the video my friends uh, what is new, what is new in my house, you know, what can you expect and uh, thanks for watching, have a nice weekend and uh, ciao ciao